Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and when I was setting up all the wallets for today's video, the only word that came to my mind is wow. And I can't wait to show you all of these incredible different wallets, including this new tumble chill cord of in fat Herbie here. At the end of the video, I've got something brand new. That's the first time I've ever seen it. You definitely wanna stick around uh, to see the last wall in the day. It's uh, something exclusive to us. It's a really special piece of shell cordovan. Let's start off here with some of the new tumbled shell cordovan wallets that are leaving the shop today. And I'm gonna to have to see if I can figure this out because some of the colors are so new to me, I'm not actually sure what they're called. But this one is tumbled blue shell cordovan, which is remarkable looking. I really like this vibrant blue shade on top of what I believe is the tumbled marbled shell. And we only had one of those. I'm not sure if it actually had a color name to it. So blue on tumbled marble on the inside, more of that, uh, those same two colors. But we've also got the addition of hidden card slots. So this one sort of got a really special combination and I love the way that it's turned out. This sort of greenish brown tan color combined with the blue tumbled is really cool. And I like how this customer chose to alternate the leather colors on the left and right. I just think this is one of the most special and unique Herbies I've ever seen. Thank you so much for uh, choosing this because I'm personally uh, selfishly glad to have seen it. Uh, it's just a really beautiful fat Herbie here. And I forgot to mention, it's also hand stitched. And up next, this is a color number four, tumbled shell cordovan, Tony the Ant. And that's a lot of words for one beautiful piece of uh, wallet here. Gosh, and just the leather is blowing me away today. So if you're a Shell Cordovan fan, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. It's just very exciting for me to see all of the new versions of Shell come to life in the, in the form of a product. And this is sort of how Ashlyn got its start. When I would see all the different pieces of leather, I would just get inspired and wanted to see what they would look like after they've been cut and sewn into something. So if you go back and watch the tumbled announcement video for the tumbled shell cordovan, you can see what these shells look like before they were cut. But now that they're turned into something, it's sort of a whole new world. It just makes it all come to life and just, uh, it's sort of a magical experience here for me to see these. I really like this color number four tumbled shell cordovan, Tony the Ant. And here's another piece of the tumbled marbled. And this sort of looks like the Vert Degree uh, shell cordovan, where it's got that sort of light pale greenish color. But man, that is so cool looking. The difference with the tumbled marbled is we have a little bit of extra color. There's like a little bit more of range and it's a different direction than the tumble pattern, which makes it sort of like this layered texture, which is really, really neat. And I hope that comes through on the video here. This is an exceptional piece. I really like this color. And the way that these wear in, we've only seen one wear in, it does polish up naturally in your pant pocket to get a little bit more of a surface luster. It does get brighter and shinier, a little bit more of a wet look when you wear these in. And on the inside, I like this clean look of the same leather on the inside and out. Man, that is super cool. I can't wait for you to have this one. And everybody that's in here, I look forward to seeing your photos as well. So here's another piece. I don't think I've ever seen this happen before. This is a fat Herbie without the bill slot on the back. And I believe this is the tumbled dark cognac color. And you'll have to excuse me if I get some of these wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's what this is. They're so new to me that I'm not actually uh, so familiar with them to know them off the top of my head. On the inside, we've got some reverse, and I'm not actually sure what reverse this is. It looks like a, gosh, no idea what it is. It's pretty cool though. It's kind of, it kind of has that same color of the tumbled Vert Degree on the reverse here. It's a little bit more green, but when it pairs with the, uh, the sort of brown red colors on the backside, this is a really unique version of the Fat Herbie. I suppose this customer only liked the card layout for the Fat Herbie, which is why they, decided to omit the bill slot in the back here. This is a whiskey tumbled shell cordovan piece on top of some color four. And we only had one of the tumbled whiskey shells. That is really cool. It's a really interesting color. So it has that golden yellow color underneath with actually surface colors of the peaks of the, the mountains on here. They're a little bit more red. And what's cool about that and the combination here is these reds in the peaks complement the color four very nicely. I just really enjoy this combination. It's a really good choice. And uh, we, we ran out of the whiskey shell first to believe because we only had one of them. And on the inside here, 
we've got color eight reverse on the left and right. And there's incredible random die marks on all the reverse in here, which is really interesting. You'll notice too, one more thing to point out is the reverse of the tumbled uh, shells is this really interesting, um, it's almost more suede than all of the other reverse shells. And that's because of the tumbling. It sort of opens up the fibers a little bit more in the leather, giving you that more suede look. And, and in fact, you can see it track a little bit with my finger here. The, uh, hopefully that shows on the camera, but it's, it's definitely like a suede on the inside, which is super cool. And that's the first time that I've seen a uh, shell get suede on the wrong side. I really like that. Here's another really nice piece of the color four tumbled shell. And that's sort of the medium brown, a little bit more red to it. And the peaks and valleys contrast from sort of that reddish orange color to more of like a dark brown. It's not black. It's definitely more of a, a brown color. And the texture is really interesting, just totally unique. On the inside here, this is a really interesting color combination. We have garnet shell cordovan, which is one of the more rare shell colors. It's about as red of a shell color uh, that you can get. And it has little bits of orange to it, which I think are really cool. This is a really special Bugs Moran. And here we have another piece of whiskey tumbled shell. And this is the last tumbled shell item of the day. And this one is awesome. In fact, I really like this because it's quite thin. It looks like we chose extra thin pieces for this whiskey tumbled with the reverse interior. And the natural reverse on the inside of this is really cool with the ink stamp like that. Uh, and the color itself is just very nicely paired with the whiskey tumbled. What's interesting here, the reverse on this particular whiskey piece is a little bit more red and I'm actually not sure why that is, but it's very interesting to see the color difference from the shell side and the reverse shell side on all these tumbled shells. All right, let's keep cranking here with some more stuff that's sending out today. There's so much great stuff today. This is probably the best day of wallets uh, that I've experienced. This is a Whiskey Shell Cordovan Giant the Fox. This is our most popular wallet style and a really rare color. We actually made a large batch of these that have been trying to give you guys a little discount. So we have a sale going on on the Whiskey Shell Cordovan John of the Foxes right now. This one has been personalized for KWH and KWH, thank you so much for supporting us. I can't wait for you to have this one. It's beautiful, John of the Fox. And here's another piece of Garnet Shell Cordovan on our Tony the Ant. The Garnet Shells, for, I keep saying it, every time we do these videos and the Garnet Shell comes up, this batch of shells is very, very nice. It has a really incredible, rich and waxy feel um, that a lot of the shells have, but this one is just like beyond uh, exceptional. For some reason, this batch of shell is probably one of the best batches I've ever seen. It has a great luster, great look, great feel, uh, great roundness to it. It's a nice hand feel. And on the inside of this one, a really interesting reverse interior. And again, I love the reverse interior when we get to see these random die marks all over the place. And of course the Horween ink stamp right in the center. So here is a stunner, uh, probably the stunner of the day. Look at this marbled piece. And this is black marble shell cordovan. It almost looks like tiger stripes or something. It's crazy looking, but if, if it, the tiger was green and orange, that's what this would be. Man, that's one of the most interesting pieces of black marble shell that I have ever seen. It has that great color range from more of this orangey tan in the lighter tones all the way to a black. And the color range in between is this really interesting tan green that is, I just love this tone of the ant and that black marble is incredible. On the inside here, we've got some more interesting stuff. We have black shell cordovan on top of black marble shell cordovan. So we get a little bit of that color variance just peeking out. This is a really cool tone of the ant. Uh, not sure who picked this one up, but I can't wait for you to have it. <sighs> So here's a Fat Herbie that I love. And the Fat Herbie is the wallet style that I choose to wear because I just like basically everything about it. I like that it lays really flat in my back pocket. On the back here, this is raw shell cordovan. And it does appear that this raw piece has a really dramatic color range to it. Depending on what angle you look at it, it goes a little bit brown to sort of a light tan, uh, which is really neat. And I love the raw shell for the way it ages and develops patina. This raw shell is on top of a piece of color eight shell cordovan, but it's reversed on the outside, which is really cool. And on the inside of this fat herbie, we have more raw shell cordovan 
on the card holders. And this is gonna wear in very nicely. I really like how natural and color eight go together. I also like how whiskey and color eight go together. If you're considering a color combo, you might wanna consider those. I can send you photos of whiskey shell on top of color eight if you wanna see what that looks like. Or in fact, any color that you wanna see, just let me know and I'll send you a photo. Now here we have another wallet in raw shell cordovan. This is the Fat Herbie in raw shell. And this one is a really substantial piece of shell. It's got a really great bite to it. I wore a raw shell Herbie for a year. And on the right here, this is what it looks like. So it started off roughly the same as this on the left. And the reason I love the raw shell, it's the best leather that I have found for, for patina. It develops in terms of luster and color the more you wear it, just naturally. You don't have to add anything to make this happen. It just turns this way. So the, the color, obviously, is much darker. It's got a little bit more red to it. I'd say a little bit more golden brown is the way I like to describe it. But the big thing is the luster. And I think that's the coolest part about patina on leather is when the luster changes. Because you can see the raw shell on the left here is kind of a matte dullness to it. It's got a slight sheen, but it's definitely not nearly as bright as the way it's been uh, worn and the way it's developed. And now sort of has like this glassy mirror-like finish to it that just naturally occurred. And I think that experience is worth it in itself. It just really um, makes it your own wallet, it makes it special to you. On the inside of this raw shell Fat Herbie, the more raw shell, and man, this is a great Fat Herbie too. Uh, I'm glad that you picked out the same wallet that I wore for a year. I've been missing mine. I just loved wearing the raw shell and seeing how it aged, and I can't wait for you to have the same experience. We had a couple of people pick up our really special combs here, and we have a partnership with Chicago Comb. We sell two different versions. There's a carbon fiber comb, which is this one here. These are great because they're naturally anti-static, so it doesn't make your hair cling up. And those carbon fiber combs come with an English tan Dublin leather sheath. And I love the English tan Dublin. It fits perfectly inside of this sheath. And the other option we have from Chicago comb is this black metal comb. And they have a finish on here that's proprietary to them. I think they call it hard as diamonds, but it's this really interesting luster. Uh, it's got sort of a color change in it when you look at it in different angles. It sort of goes from a gray to a black and some of the shades in between. I use one of these combs every day at home. I really, really like it and I've been using it for years. We pair this one with the black reverse sheath. So they're a little bit more expensive because they're made out of metal and a little bit more expensive because we put the shell cordovan with it. Uh, but I'm a big fan of Chicago comb. Thank you for uh, supporting both of us, whoever picked these up. Now we're moving on to some, some chrome Excel leather and this is natural chrome Excel. I believe this is the most popular chrome Excel color in the world right now. And I think that's because it's just a really nice uh, neutral color. There's no stains added. So it's this really nice sandy taupe color. And it has that classic pull-up effect that Chrome Excel has become known for. What happens is when, you t when they tan the leather at the tannery, they impregnate so much wax, oil, and grease into the leather through a process called hot stuffing that when you flex the leather, we mobilize and move around some of those waxes and it reveals a little bit of a lighter undertone. And you can always sort of rub that color back in as such, uh, which makes it a really unique leather. And on top of that, because of the leather itself is roughly half wax, grease, and oil, it has a really great feel to it. So here's a nice fat Herbie in natural Chrome Excel. Here's a brand new offering for us. Yesterday was the first day that you were able to pick up one of these, and many of you have. So everybody that's picked up a color number eight Chrome Excel, Johnny the Fox. Those are all going out today. This Chrome Excel is super, super nice. It's very flat and smooth. It's a very nice polish to it. Um, so I'm really a big fan of how this color eight Chrome Excel is turning out. I also really like how the black pairs with it on the inside. And I mentioned yesterday, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Chicago Bulls colors, a little bit of black and uh, red, but this is a great, option on the Giant of the Fox. If you're looking to pick these up, we do have some left, uh, so check it out on our website. Now here's another really cool color combination, but this leather on the outside is not Chrome Excel. This is actually our Dublin leather. And this particular piece of Dublin is super smooth and bright and shiny. It has a really great natural grain character to it. 
I really wish this one translated. Um, I wish you could feel this in person because it's super smooth and just the look of it is very flat and even. It's awesome. This Dublin is really cool. And on the black, most black leathers in the world are not this nice. Oftentimes they look really fake and finished. The black Dublin is super cool. And to top it all off, we've got a really awesome teal interior. I love how the black and teal go together. Can't wait for you to have this one. And we're getting to the end here. Two wallets left. This is English Tan Dublin on our John of the Fox. This is a bestseller for us right now. We made a nice batch of these um, just before all the pandemic stuff was going down. And we've been putting these on sale because I want you to experience something nice in a time of craziness. This is a really great leather. I love the English Tan Dublin color. It reminds me of Amaretto Shell Cordovan, which is my favorite shell color. And we get that same great look and feel of all the Dublin. It's just a really great waxy look. On the inside, we have a custom horsehide Latigo leather made for us by Horween. It's a nice mock sand color. We call it mock, but it's a light tan, a little bit of yellow to it, a nice neutral color to go with the English tan on the outside. All right, and last up here, this was the wallet that I teased at the beginning that I said you wanted to wait for, and here it is. This is a Whiskey Shell Cordovan Fat Herbie. However, there's something quite different about this leather. This is a new version of the Shell Cordovan. They're trying out some experiments with dip dyeing at the tannery. Currently, all of the shells that Horween makes are hand finished with brushes, and they brush the stain onto the shells. This is a new version that they're trying where they're dipping the leather into a dye and a mixture of water and dye to get a nice even coverage. And you might be able to see here just how nice and even that whiskey shell is. This is about as flat and even that I've ever seen a shell color come in. I think it's really, really nice. I hope they continue doing with this, this with some more colors because Skip is actually, I don't know why he's doing it, but he wants us to be the exclusive uh, trial for this right now. So you're only gonna see this dip dyed shell cordovan from us here at Ashland. What I think is most exciting about the dip dyed shells is the way that the reverse is also super even. Check out how cool that whiskey reverse is. We don't get a lot of random dye marks, which I often really like, but this even coverage is just super nice. And there's something about this reverse uh, that's very interesting. It almost has its own little grain to itself. It's like kind of somewhere in between a suede and a regular full grain leather, uh, but it's very unique. I bet this wears in incredibly well. And for me, again, the biggest interesting part of it is just how even the color is. So this is a brand new dip dyed whiskey shell cordovan piece on our Fat Herbie. This one was made just for Skip, uh, Skip Horween, because he wanted to see what it would look like. And Skip, if you're checking this out, I can't wait for you to have this one. Uh, man, I really want to see how this reverse wears in. It's a really beautiful wallet. So thank you guys all for checking out all the great stuff today, including this uh, Tony the Ant and that black marbled that I really liked. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, if you want me to update you on the dip dyed shells, send me a message. I think we have a couple dip dyed shells available, but I honestly don't even know what colors they are or how much we have. Uh, so let me know. That's so new to us. I just haven't had a chance to look into it. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Until next time, have a good one.